Well, that bit looks very vertical. There you go. Thank you. I don't know, I can't remember how to put these on. It's a good start, isn't it? Grab it from the front. Yeah, is it what you expected? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, tighten this up. It's probably easier for you to tighten it up. There's a group on there already, and I'm not sure whether they're having fun or not. I did hear what sounded like some crying happening, so... There was a bit of crying. Uh -oh. Right, it's been nice knowing you, Mum and Dad, and everyone of our 187 YouTube followers. It's windy up here. It's windy, isn't it? Yeah. How are you feeling? Go. 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 Okay, we're about five minutes on the way up. Wow. And look at the views. I kind of hate you for making me do this, though. How did you do this bit? Just walk on the wall. Reach for that one, that handhold. Oh, canal. Keep yourself put then, that's all times. Never again. Please hold me to this, guys. If I ever do this again, please shout at me. You know what, I call you the slug, but you're pretty fast on the walls, aren't you? Oh, we're not sideways ones. The worst. So, we're on a bench, halfway up the mountain. How are you feeling? Look up. Okay. I, I, I'm really scared. <laughs> but we're going to get it. Um, the longer I stay here, though, the more I'm going to get stuck. Yeah, we're going to have so to get moving. Can we... Well, next time we'll come back for a picnic, right? Yeah. Right. This is a better bench. <laughs> That's a good bench. <laughs> That's a very good bench. That's Paloma just put it. This is type two fun. Well, she just said this is horrible. Type two fun is horrible. Actually awful. I'm not excited to get up there now, am I? It might seem crazy to be pushing ourselves to do things like via ferratas when we're both scared of heights. But in a way, the more scared of something that you are, the more accomplishment you're going to feel once you complete it. It's working through that fear and showing yourself that you are able to do it. I never wanted a fear to stop me from experiencing a place in a different manner. And once you get a taste for it, it's hard to turn away from it again. Had we not pushed ourselves to do these things, we wouldn't have been open to the possibility of doing a beer ferrata. We wouldn't have stopped at that sign that we passed driving through this village and thought, oh, let's give it a go. Those experiences we would have been missing out and these are the ones that are most enriching on a trip like this. And it's just really nice to be able to do that with somebody else that's willing to put his fears aside and do it with me as well. This is terrifying. But it's a really nice view. Well done. I feel like uh, Frodo and Samwise Ganji, the real hero of Lord of the Rings, when they climbed up Mordor. <laughs> she doesn't get the reference. Oh. We did it. Finally. You can't believe we did it. And that is the end. <laughs> Oh, how do you rate that out of 10? Probably about an 8. An 8? Could be a 10 if I was prepared. Yeah, and you had the right shoes on? Yeah. One top tip, don't do a Via Ferrato in your running shoes. <laughs> also, big top tip, never believe the Norwegians when they say something is moderate. <laughs> <laughs> Norwegian moderate is UK very hard. Right, let's get in. I absolutely love that there are blueberries absolutely everywhere. <laughs> like, we did not, you don't have to bring your own snacks. On the side of the mountain, there's blueberries. And even just here by the lake, 
as blueberries. Oh, look at that cut on my finger. I was holding on a bit too tight. That's great. What a country. Great. It's great. They taste great. You got your protein flapjack? Mm-hmm. And how do we get down? We walk. <laughs> It looks real cool. <laughs> so if you didn't know, we've recently just finished our race across Europe. We have been spending the last couple of weeks resting up and connecting back with each other. We went to visit Uda, one of Ploma's old friends in the south in Grinstad. Since then, we've been taking our time, driving around this beautiful country, taking all the beautiful mountain passes and fjords we can find. We didn't really have a plan of which route we were going to take through Norway, but we just so happened to be chasing the good weather and came across Valais, and we've kind of fell in love with it, so we're going to show you around a little bit more of it. Ploma just got so excited at where we are. She just skipped like a big girl with her empty water bottle and did this. How'd you feel, Gail? Stupid. You were high on life a second ago. Oh. <laughs> anyway, at least you've got nice views, haven't you? Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Come on, blimey, mate. First job of the day is fill up our water. We have three options, rock pool water, dam water, or a running stream. Which one should we go for, pal? Running stream. I always get a little nervous when she leads the way. She always leads us down a dead end or into perilous areas. <laughs> she can hear me. Still stand by though. You got us some crystal clear mountain water, eh? This banana holder, what are we up to now? We are going for a hike because we can't work when it's this pretty outside. It's far too pretty to work, right? Yeah. So where are we going? I don't actually know. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to try and go to the... Yeah, that way? That way, I think. But we have, a, <laughs> we have a river to cross first, so... Let's see how we get on, eh? Hob. <laughs> Not sure this is a good idea with how clumsy I am today. <laughs> so good to just drop the wireless mic into the water. I'm so sorry. It's alright, it's only about a 200 quid mic. <laughs> One giant step for Paloma Kind. What is it? <laughs> Get your tongue right in there. So we found a wild strawberry, and for scale, here's Paloma's fingers. And now she has to taste it. It's definitely a strawberry, though. Yeah. Oh. Just stood on my lens cap. It's actually really nice. Is it? Mm, super sweet. Can you get me one? They're tiny. <laughs> tiny strawberry. Hey, they're good. Well, Tie you up. <laughs> Wild strawberries as well. No way, you're amazing. Join the hike. Follow the blue trails. She's fit as a fiddle. Fit as a fiddle. Why are fiddles fit anyway? Do you know? Do you know? <laughs> she doesn't know. Nearly there, girl. And we've made it. To the top. How do you feel? Absolutely knackered. Never high five. There we go, Gail. Look at that. <laughs> wow. That hurt a little bit, you know. Ow. So that's our first hike in Norway done. Usually we hike a lot more than this, don't we? <laughs> We've been here like three weeks, but we have been petting, so I'm in quite a flat area. Yeah. But Paloma's just set us a challenge. 
to hike a day keeps the doctors away. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're doing 3k a day, whatever the weather, so I'm going to hold you to that when it's raining. Well, we're going to avoid rain. We're going to show you how to <laughs> avoid rain. <laughs> what we mean by avoiding the rain. So we were speaking to some local friends of ours, Uda and her family, who are very lovely and we had a great time with them. Um, and they were saying what the local people do when they're on holiday um, to the fjords is, if it starts to rain, head east of the mountain ranges and you're likely to get sun. Keep an eye out and then once you have sun on the fjords or up north, head that way as quickly as possible. Just a butt in. I don't think she said sun, but she said less rain and more likely to be nicer weather. Not True. sun. Sorry. I mean, we've got sun. So we did it this morning, actually. <laughs> we did. So we were trying to um, hike up Kiran, um, that really cool rock that everyone sees. And it was pouring down with rain, windy. So we were like, you know what, let's give it a miss and we had a look at the weather it looked awful over the fjord so we've gone inland and look at this weather it's beautiful it's been a rain for the next two days like 30 miles south on it so i don't know how we hit this little jackpot of weather but thanks for the advice <laughs> can, can you show everyone uh, the color of your new jacket for us not this one you have one she bought two new orange jackets one waterproof one and one warm <laughs> Right, can we settle the debate here? Is that orange or yellow? Yellow. Paloma's saying yellow. yellow. And that's 100% orange, and she has stole the colour of the jacket I bought pretty much, just to be the same as me. Yellow. What have you spotted? Moose poo. Moose poo. <laughs> How do you know it's moose poo? Because it's like a real big rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> like a giant Malteser. But that's a few days old, so no moose today. Maybe tomorrow. <sighs> With a baby as well.